This video today is uh, about the lesson that me and Whiskey just went to with our good friend Kathy yesterday uh, to our trainer out in um, Enumclaw. And unfortunately I didn't get any footage from that lesson, but I'll do a little cutaway to show um, an example of what we were working on. Um, we have another show coming up in about two weeks and are ready to go in the trailer. He's got all his protective boots on and his fly gear, which is more to keep debris out of his face than flies, really, this time of year. You ready to go, bud? Ready to go. So even though I don't have any footage um, from the last lesson, I kind of wanted to go over one of the really key concepts that my trainer really helped me um, work on with Wiz. One of the things that I commented on that the last few rides we had had, uh, we would be loping down the pen for a rundown for on the right lead. And uh, right at the last second, I would say, whoa, and he would pop leads and finish on the left lead which I wasn't sure because we were having some really good stops if he needed to do that to rebalance himself or if that was something I needed to correct. So she did concur that yes, it needs to be corrected. And um, one of the things she said when he does that, if he did it um, to stop or when he stops, then side pass him onto the right lead, the correct lead that he should have stayed on. Don't give him that moment of a break. Uh, but side pass them right over, uh, really ensure that that right hip is in the direction that it needed to be, and then lope off and go try it again. Um, in addition, to help maintain that lead on the rundown, which was kind of, it sounds simple, but it's a pivotal thing for me. I've gotten so confident now in uh, running down the pen and being able to keep my hand down, and I kind of forgot that I could fix stuff along the way. So one of the things that, um, I'm able to do now with her help was as we're running down the pen on the right lead and uh, he kind of feels like maybe he's drifted into the left or not holding that lead well, uh, I put my right leg back and ask for that hip to come to the inside and I can use my hand concurrently um, to hold his shoulder up where it needed to be on, on the correct line. And after we did that, maybe four or five good times and we start getting some pretty good stops and we're actually able to go work on the rollback then afterwards which was one of the things I really wanted to work on before this upcoming show. I just wanted to show you guys that these were brand new SMB boots. Uh, I think I will honestly I think I used them once or two times uh, and then I took them to a lesson yesterday and this is why you get skid boots when you have a rainer because one good time at the lesson and they're already coming undone. It just goes to show how much protection they need when we're doing these big hard stops because that would be the back of his fetlock getting some bad rug, uh, road rash if uh, he didn't have these on. So the difference is, let me show you, uh, for friends who are watching that don't know, this is a leather version of skid boot and it goes on the back of his leg, back of his lower leg. And it's got this really hard, really hard um, double padded um, cup and they make these boots that have this hard cup on the back. And I have a pair, but they um, they got really old and kind of trashy. And so anyway, here's just a good example of why we put the protective gear on them. I'm gonna only be able to use these on Milo or on days I know I'm not gonna be stopping whiskey at all. 
so there's a little bit of fun fact for you guys. I hope this video has given you guys a little bit of insight to some of the things that we work on with reining horses and um, if nothing else it's good documenting for me uh, so I can go back and kind of revisit what um, what we were working on but I hope you got something out of it with uh, the knowledge of, of holding that lead maybe something you can do when the horse pops his lead um, and then also the benefit of, of having good protective gear on them um, as I showed earlier. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you like the content, go ahead and uh, give this video a like, uh, hit the subscribe button, and I'll have more videos as the summer progresses. Bye.